Okay, let's take a look at the abbreviations um, for this unit. We are going to take a look at some that are particular to the immune system or the lymphatic system. But first up included with this particular unit, I want to talk about some abbreviations that are associated with health organizations, particularly in the U.S., although some of these are universal. Okay, so in the U.S., we have an organization called the FDA. See if you can find on your word list what this stands for. Okay, hopefully you found that this stands for the Food and Drug Administration, okay, or the FDA. Next up, we often just refer to this as OSHA, okay? So if you hear the term OSHA, this is what we're talking about, but it's O-S-H-A. Tell me what the full meaning of this organization is. Okay, OSHA is the Occupational Safety and Health Administration Board, and it's the organization that is responsible for making sure that your workplace has safe conditions. Next up is the DEA. Okay, what is the DEA? All right, the DEA is the Drug Enforcement Agency. Um, in addition to what you think it may be, it also oversees a lot of pharmaceuticals and making sure um, that those are regulated properly. What about the EPA? The EPA. All right, that stands for the Environmental Protection Agency. And just like it sounds um, in what it stands for, it makes sure that companies deal with disposing of their wastes as to not damage the environment. Okay, let's take a look at a couple more that are associated with organizations um, in our government. Next up is a medical related organization called CMS. See if you can see what that stands for. All right, CMS stands for Centers for Medicare and Medicaid Services. Next up is FEMA, FEMA or F-E-M-A, okay? Do you know what FEMA stands for? All right, that is the Federal Emergency Management Agency. Next is the HHS. What does that stand for? All right, that is Health and Human Services. And then we have the NIH. Do you know what the NIH stands for? All right, the National Institute of Health. Let's take a peek at a couple abbreviations that are particular to disorders or diseases inside the immune and lymph system. And first up, we have NK, which is going to be a type of cell that we find floating through and see if you can see what that stands for. Okay, NK stands for natural killer cells. Um, they are a subtype of a white blood cell that helps us to fight off infections. Next up is HIV. Let's see if you can tell me what HIV stands for. All right, HIV stands for the Human Immunodeficiency Virus. Up next is the abbreviation AIDS, A-I-D-S. What does that mean? All right, that stands for Acquired Immunodeficiency Syndrome. Lastly, what does the abbreviation RA stand for? Okay, that stands for Rheumatoid Arthritis. 